hello guys welcome to our today's tutorial let's try to look at this question which came in one of the past papers for test one pharmacy chemistry for pharmacy second year okay this question is under periodic table based so it's question six i think based on the valence bond theory predict coordination number and hence the stereochemistry for ni nickel so here is nickel then here there is three then here there is uh, like that one nickel then here there is uh, argon 3d84s2 so here that's how this uh okay so here it's like this oh sorry so here again is like this okay so now let's try to see how we can answer this question guys okay so they're saying we need to find the coordination number and also the stereochemistry so how can we calculate this how, how can we find this so the best way how now we can find this first of all for you to get all the four marks you need to find the coordination number the hybridization together with the geometry then you are done with all the questions that they're looking for so here you're going to say uh so here is positive three so we are going to say this nickel is the, the the configuration is for the argon like that so here now when they say like this which is nickel then uh, positive three like that one what does it mean it means that it has lost how many electrons three electrons you get so now it, when it has lost three electrons we are going to say uh we are going to say it's like this which is for this one which is uh uh, it's this three, so two three electron has been lost. Two electron from the s orbital, and one electron from the what from the d orbital. So we are just going to remain with it. d three d seven. This one it is now empty because it it, it has lost two electrons. But here it has lost three electrons. So we're going to remove two electrons. It has become empty, and from this we're going to remain with seven. So that is uh, what we want, which is for this, which is nickel ion. So what are we going to do for us to find the coordination number? So I'm just going to write the orbitals for starting from S, then P, then D like that one. We know that here it has got only it accommodates how many electrons? Two electrons. Then P accommodates how many electrons? Six electrons. Then this one accommodates how many electrons? Five, uh, ten electrons. And at each, this um, you are going to have how many? Two electron like that one. So now. At S we don't have, and P we don't have. We only have how many electrons? Uh, we only have uh, seven electrons. So we start putting e electrons here. So here we we'll put electrons here, like that one. Two electrons. Here two electrons. Two electrons, and this one it will have how many? One. You see how many electrons we have here? They are just seven on the d orbital. So. Here, for us to find the coordination number, coordination number, the simplest way is to ca count the number uh, of uh, empty orbitals. So, here I'm going to count the number of these empty orbitals. So, here is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it has got a 5. So, that is the coordination number. It has got how many? 5. Then, when it comes to hybridization, hybridization. So here, when finding the coordination number is to count to count the number of empty orbitals. Then hybridization is to to use the empty orbitals which we have on S, P, and also D. So how many orbitals do we have on e, uh, on uh, on D, which has uh, which are empty is just one. So I'm just going to write D, which has got one. Then on S, how many do I have? We have one. P, how many? Three, like that one. So that is the hybridization. It can also be written as S, P, 3, D. 
is the same. So here you can say, oh, it's the same thing. So that's how you come up with hybridization. Now, when they ask you about to find the stereogeometry, in the way you're supposed to answer it, is just to know if you have uh, the coordination number, which is uh, 5. So here, when you have the coordination number, which is 5, okay, let me just... Uh, well, let me just try to help you in this way. So, you should know that, so here I'm just going to write the coordination number. Coordination number. Then here I can write the geometry. So, when you, you are asked to find the geometry, coordination number starting from 2, you should know that this one is linear. That's the geometry which we have. For example, we can have uh, this one x, then here it's elegant, and here it's elegant, like that one. So that is linear, and that is, uh, it has got 180 degree. That is when you have the coordination number of what? 2. What's of the coordination number if it is 3? So here the geometry that we are going to have is what is known as the trigonal planar. Trigonal planar, like that one, you see? So it can be like this, X, then here, ligand, then here, ligand, like that one, where it will have uh, the, like that, it will have uh, the angle of uh, 120. So that's the name. So you need to know the name. Then when you, when you have four, just know that uh, is what is known as, uh, it can have two names. It depends on how uh, it, the, the, the arrangement is. It can be square, planar. When the arrangement is like maybe this one and this one's like this, this one's like this, this one's like this, like that, you get? Or it can be tetrahedro, tetrahedro structure. When it is like this X, then here it can be like that one. So here you know that here it's 90 degree. Then here ligand, then here it has got like that one, then here like that one, here like that one. Where it has got the angle here, which is 109.5, like that one. So that is tetrahedral structure. That is the geometry which we have like that. So remember, we have two, uh, to, uh, go, 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 coordination number is linear, three, trigonal planar, four is square planar. It depends on how the arrangement is, like the, if it is at 90 degree, like that is square planar. If it is 109.5 as the angle is tetrahedral. So what if now, it is now, you have five, uh, you have five. You have five. You have five. Okay, for example, if you have five, you can say, since now I have five, this one is the one that is called trigonal bipyramidal. Bipyramidal structure. This is trigonal bipyramidal structure. That is when you have five. When you have six, is uh, so. When you have six, is what is known as a uh, hexagonal planar. Hexagonal planar. You can say that way, hexagonal planar or octahedral. So these are geometry. When you have six, a coordination number. What if when you have seven, you can say this is a uh, pentagonal by pyramidal pentagonal by pyramidal or you can say uh, hexagonal ah, I'm sure that's the, that's, the, that's the good one you can just say pentagonal by pyramidal that's uh, nice okay but you, on the 5v you can say trigonal by pyramidal also you can say square pyramidal square pyramidal or or hexagonal or trigonal by pyramid on uh, when you have coordination of five. Then what if you when you have eight? So when you have eight, as the coordination number, this is what is known as uh, hexagonal by pyramid. By pyramid, hexagonal by pyramid. In another way, some other books you say cubic, hexagonal. By pyramid, oh, it's okay. So these are the coordination together with the, their own geometry. Thank you guys for watching this video.
remember to subscribe and tell others to watch if you have any question inbox me